What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we about to get into something quick, girl. It's not funny, but it's like, Krishan. <sighs> Shout out to Circus of Blues, girl. The, the, the Oklahoma, uh, what, the Oklahoma County Jail, whatever. Girl, they infested with bed bugs and rats. Literally, what Krishan just pulled up to. Girl, you know, when you say things like, I don't care, take me to jail, come get me, that's the type of stuff you got to think about on the way to jail. Oklahoma County Jail has been the spotlight recently for refusing those two health inspections by the state. Here at News 4, we get complaints weekly about the jail. Many detail the terrible conditions inside, some saying they've been bitten by bed bugs during their stay. Today, I went... The worst thing to ever experience or that I've ever experienced in my life is bed bugs. Anytime I see a bug in anywhere, I be about to flip out. But a bed bug, ooh, that's a different type of, you just feel like they just came in your house, took off your drawers, and robbed you of your goodies because they just sit there and suck on your body. And I'm sorry, y'all. That's the, that's the only way I can explain it. I don't know if she ever dealt with bed bugs before, but baby. Went inside the jail to see for myself. Former detainees coming forward about the horrific conditions inside the Oklahoma County Jail. It's just terrible. Uh, mice everywhere. No. Roaches. No. And bed bugs. Joshua Acreage spent one day in the Oklahoma County Jail for a misdemeanor theft. Whenever I got home, I was just covered in bed bug bites. Sending news for these photos after one day oh, no. of his body covered in oh, bed no. bug bites. Desiree no. Gaskill spent four days in the Oklahoma County Jail, no. also for a misdemeanor. It was one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life at almost 35 years old. Gaskill was also bit by bed bugs, oh, sharing no. her photos with us. She says the pot of bugs in her bed was about this size. And I asked Op Grant to take pictures or video of a cell on a floor where inmates are currently being housed. He told me that request would have to go through the jail CEO and she was at a meeting. Kevin and Jolene, the Oklahoma County Jail has been the spotlight recently for... Y'all, that's terrible. Ain't no way. I don't care what's going on. I don't ever want to deal with the law. Okay, and I definitely don't want to be in jail. It, it ain't that much of being tough in the world. I don't want to be in jail. And I don't want to deal with stuff like this. Y'all pray for a girl because she, she about to go through it. I know the bed bugs ain't about to just skip over Krishan. So y'all let me know what y'all thinking. We got a, uh, a TikTok. Let's get into it. Get your wine, get your popcorn, get whatever you need because this is crazy. Okay. Right. And I just want to clear up for the people that are like, what's wrong with the paternity test? There's nothing wrong with the paternity test. So part one wasn't nothing but a dance video of basically she was getting a paternity test for one of her kids. But you have to make sure that you're not lying about your child's father while you're asking him to get a DNA test on his child. That's all I'm saying. Okay, secondly, I've known my child's father since forever. So I feel like that's why we were so offended. Our moms were very good friends. They grew up together. They've known each other for over 40 years. So um, they really gave me hell throughout my pregnancy, but this is when the weird stuff started. So I had to go do like my anatomy scan and it came back that I had something called like Tay-Sachs disorder. And so basically um, they needed her dad to get genetically tested too or get some blood drawn to see if he had it because it would have been fatal for her if he was like a carrier. So I told him that and he told his mom and like, she like kind of tripped out and she's like, you don't need to get that. Like she's lying, like all this type of stuff. Personally, we had already heard like his homeboys told me like that his dad wasn't his dad. That's that's none of my damn business. Like that's how much like we do not care. Like I don't care. 
If y'all want to keep that some big ass secret, like that's fine. These niggas need to stop telling their mama stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. Mama boys having ass. So I'm just like, okay, like he never went and got the blood work done for our daughter. Like I said, they like really gave me hell throughout my pregnancy. Like it was, it was so annoying. So I think it was like a few weeks before we had the baby. He sent me this screenshot from this woman who sent him a message and was like, I'm your biological aunt. Um, I'm your dad's sister. He sent this to me and he was like, I think this is a scam. I'm like, nobody's scamming you talking about they're your relatives. So I'm like, you want me to check it out? He was like, yeah. I called her and she was like, he, he can't do nothing for herself, can he? Like, oh yeah, like, um, she told me like her brother was my baby daddy's dad. But at that time, like her, my daughter's dad would just come back and tell me everything everybody was saying. And he was telling me like, they were like, oh, get a DNA test on our daughter. And I'm offended because like, we know y'all, like I'm not no like random ass girl. Okay, we can do like a little BD reveal so y'all can see obviously why my child doesn't need a DNA test. Okay, if you go back to the video before with me and my daughter dancing, you can see they look just alike. Anyways, so we go to his aunt's house and we're like, okay, what's up? What's going on? Y'all, his entire family knew who the dad was. The dad only lived like an hour and a half away, but they just never told him about it. Like... This was like almost four years ago. So he was like 28. So it's like, I don't understand. Like, why would y'all like sit here and y'all all know about it and just like never tell him. But then like his dad was lame as fuck too because they, they were like, oh, we see. Like we were engaged and Clearly, um, I'm confused. Her brother was my baby daddy's dad. He shot from this woman who sent him a message and was like, I'm your biological aunt. Um, I'm your dad's sister. Right. He sent this to me and he was like, I think this is a scam. I'm like, nobody's scamming you talking about they're your relatives. Right. So I'm like, you want me to check it out? He was like, yeah. I called her and she was like, oh yeah. Like, um, she told me like her brother was my baby daddy's dad. Okay. Her brother was her baby's daddy's dad. Okay. So that found the baby daddy to him. But at that time, like her, my daughter's dad would just come back and tell me everything everybody was saying. And he was telling me like, they were like, oh, get a DNA test on our daughter. And I'm offended because like, we know y'all, like I'm not no like random ass girl. Okay, we can do like a little BD reveal so y'all can see obviously why I might go back to that. Anyways, so we go to his aunt's house and we're like, okay, what's up? What's going on? Y'all, his entire family knew who the dad was the dad only lived like an hour and a half away but they just never told him oh so she done gave her hell because she trying to tell her son not to get that blood test because she the baby mama could be lying about whatever when in fact you've been lying this whole time about who your baby daddy is you and the rest of the family oh about it like this was like almost four years ago. So he was like 28. So it's like, I don't understand. Like, why would y'all like sit here and y'all all know about it and just like never tell him. But then like his dad was lame as fuck too because they, they were like, oh, we see. Like we were engaged and um, we we're about to have the baby. And they were like, oh yeah, like we see you're about to have like this family. And now we want to be involved. And at the time, like I, I really did feel bad for like, my daughter's dad because like that's just so lame that's so fucked up like his mom was just projecting that's a different type of trifling i'll never feel bad for that hoe honestly things went downhill from there but y'all if y'all go down to 6 23 2021 it's a whole trilogy because okay, like, you... his aunt came on my tiktok videos like it was crazy so um if y'all want to do that but yeah that's what happened <laughs> so then my daughter's dad came back and was like my family said you found out about him to be spiteful towards them. How did I know who your mom was in the 90s? I wasn't even born at that point. Like, he's, he's older than me. Hell. How was I supposed to know that? So they made it seem like I did that on purpose because they had been talking about me, like, the whole time. So I'm like, okay, bet. Like, I called Quest Diagnosis and I texted him. I was like, hey, you got an appointment to go get this DNA test done. I sent it to him and his dad. 
Oh, that is messy. <laughs> That's messy as hell. But it is what it is. At least you found out the truth. <sighs> Girl, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.